What's up, you guys? My name is Hudge, and I make videos. Put them on the internet. Make a lot of Destiny videos, because I'm still a fan of this game. And, uh, so a few things happened to me this week in Destiny. The first one being I got another level, or another character up to level 30. So I was able to do the raid three times, and then do the Nightfall three times. Unfortunately, my raid runs this week were not good. Uh, I don't think I got anything new. The only thing I got was, like... A bunch of raid gear that I could just turn in for shards because I need the shards to become 32. I might be able to do that this week if Eris is nice to me with all these bounties. But uh, And then uh, when I did the Nightfall, I finally got a gun that I've been wanting since I saw what this gun was. Which is the Universal Remote. Which is the gun you're watching right now. It is a shotgun primary. Well, this is the Light of the Abyss. This is the uh, raid uh, fusion rifle for those of you guys that haven't seen it yet. It's got a pretty decent fire rate. And uh, I just thought that the shotgun uh, fusion rifle combo would be pretty pretty annoying to deal with. Um, so yeah, so I got the universal remote for one of the nightfalls, and I was really anxious to get this thing leveled up because the rate of fire, like normally, is not very good, uh, and the range is like on the on the bad side of good. It's like not very good, uh, but it does have a perk on it which allows the effective range to be increased when you aim down sights. Uh, unfortunately, it takes a little while to get to that upgrade because you have to, um, like, get experience for the gun and turn in bounties, and then having telemetries helps, but it still took, like, 25 bounties with telemetries to be able to get it to the point where I could have that perk. But once I unlocked it, I was really eager to hop into, uh, to PvP and, and give it a shot, and I was pleasantly surprised because everybody told me that the gun was terrible, but it wasn't that fun, or that wasn't that good. Uh, I could see it. I could see it not being good in in PVE. I can't figure out what the purpose of this gun would be in PVE, but in PVP, it is a lot of fun and it has more range than most shotguns. And I found that using this combination of guns, the shotgun and like a really decent fusion rifle, was was like a little too fun. It's probably the most annoying class to go up against in uh, PVP. I know that whenever I get killed by a shotgun in this game, like, over and over and over again, I can't help but think to myself, why is this fucking asshole using a shotgun like it's a primary? And then, lo and behold, I actually get a shotgun that is a primary. Uh, and, and as you guys can see, if you aim down sights of range, you get a lot more one-shot, like, it reliably gives you a lot more one-shot kills than uh, something like a found verdict or the new raid shotgun. And I ran out of bullets there, I would have got the easy kill. Um... So the question for you guys today is, if you've got this gun, what do you guys think of it? Um, I heard that the other primary shotgun, the um, Ford Horseman, or the, the PlayStation exclusive one, I heard that gun sucks. Um, in any case, yeah, I was just, I, I was a little surprised, because I, I was really was told that this gun was trash, and that there was no reason to ever get it. Uh, but I'm still collecting some of these guns. Like, so the, uh, the, the guns that I don't have right now that I really want are the, what is it, what's the new shotgun called? Like the, the shark bite or something like that, or dragon's breath. And then uh, No Land Beyond, even though that's the, the bolt action sniper that really sucks. Uh, I still want it because I think they are going to buff it in a later like tuning patch or something like that. Um, I haven't got the raid LMG or the raid rocket launcher. Uh, I also have not gotten... No, I have everything else in the raid. I have the sniper, the uh, um, fusion rifle, and the shotgun. The shotgun's not as good as Found Verdict, but it's still pretty good. And I think that's it as far as weapons go. I can't figure out if there's any anything else that I need. I don't think there is. I'm pretty sure that's it. I've I have or either have had every other exotic in the game, and uh, you know most of them are aren't worth keeping. So, anyways, that's my video for today, guys. Uh, happy Christmas Eve, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.